right. I have arrived. I have arrived at Chief Jason Weber's barbecue. Weber's Weber. I am validated, sir. I'm excited to have you here today. This is gonna be a great day. We're gonna have a lot of fun, and we've got a great barbecue ahead of us. I've come hungry. I've come hungry. I'm ready to eat. What are we doing in here? Sorry to disappoint you. Today, this is my lab. We're here to talk a little bit about the dangers of Italian cypress, especially those that are used for screening between homes in Marin County. I can't eat this, but I should light it. Let's light this bad Oh, no, up. no, I have something much more exciting. Let's take a look over here. Come on, let's go. Chief Jason Weber, what's the story with this? What's going on here? So Aaron, I brought you over to this piece of the barbecue because I wanted to talk to you about the dangers of Italian cypress, especially when they're used as screening material between homes in Marin County. When you look at the Italian cypress, just the amount of dead material that sits inside of these trees is explosive. Not to mention the live fuel or the live part of the plant is full of uh, dangerous oils that are almost explosive. When we had the glass fire come into Santa Rosa, I saw many homes that were lost because of this and juniper. It's all preventable. And we want to talk to our residents about eliminating this. And this is a little bit dangerous. So I brought some friends along to help us with this demonstration and keep Wait, it safe. We're going to light this up. So I've asked Mike to come in and help us demonstrate just how a single ember landing in this Italian cypress can start the fire and spread so rapidly. Let's get out of the way and let him show us. Mike, light it up. So during an ember situation, embers will be falling in this, right? Yeah, exactly. And that's what we're talking about by an ember shower and how dangerous those can be. You can see just one little ignition um, can set the, the entire row of Italian cypress on fire. Um, and, and they burn like Roman candles. I often refer to them when we're in the field. Uh, and not only is the, the rapid burning dangerous near a house, but it also creates an enormous amount of embers themselves that are then spread over, over the top houses uh, and, and existing neighbors, um, which is really problematic. It's crazy how it's just jumping up. It's, it's, it's happening. Like I couldn't start a, a bonfire like that. No, exactly. And this is the challenge with Italian Cypress. It's, it's set up so when the wind hits it, it's very receptive to that. Um, you can see, you know, just how readily it burns even when it's green. Uh, and it does just travel like a Roman candle from the bottom all the way up to the top. And then the deal is it, it passes on and then starts kicking embers and... And the fire just leapfrogs from one house to the next. And all of a sudden we have three or four homes on fire uh, and, and we still don't have a fire truck here yet. Oh, so fast. It just moves so quickly. And that the, gr the green oily, ow. And you're, you're starting to see what what's happening here is this is just raining on us, hot embers. And this would start um, another and fire. We're, we're a distance from the uh, and we're a distance from from the fire itself. And this would start another fire. You know, with our changing climate and high winds like those red flag days, that's what you're worried about. One of these kicking off and then spreading through a community. That's exactly it. And, you know, 20, 30 mile an hour winds. I watched uh, with the glass fire. Um, you know, a small juniper in a front yard stretch fire all the way across uh, the road, over sidewalks and into neighbors' houses and started their vegetation on fire. And, and that's exactly what occurs with these, with these mega fires and it's, it's challenging. You know, I, I mean, people want their privacy, but there are other options, wider leaf plants or anything but, but a, a Roman candle next to your Absolutely. house. Absolutely. And this is why our partnership with Fire Safe Marin is so important and having uh, a plant list that, that's available for people to make good choices uh, that protect their home, protect their families, allow them to evacuate. You see these a lot of times on driveways and you can imagine how frightening it would be to try to drive past this and especially a row of 20 or 30 of them when you're trying to evacuate from your house. And you can see just like a set of dominoes falling, uh, these Italian cypress do the same thing. They just go from one spot to the next. I'm gonna step back a little bit. I think you're, you're, uh, I think you're wise. Man, I can feel it. I mean, I would not want these next to my house. No, and we're 20, 30 feet from, from these. I can and feel the heat You can though. feel the heat coming off it. You can see where the embers are landing. We're gonna defend a house that, that is defendable. Right. Um, and that's the importance of creating defensible space. It's not just to save the house, it's also to protect our firefighters who are risking their lives to be there and save the house. Getting rid of things like this really helps us. Chief Jason Weber, I never want to see that again. Nor do I. Let's keep the fire in the barbecue. And let's keep Italian Cypress out of Marin. 
Cheers, everybody. Enjoy the barbecue. Thanks for keeping it safe, fellas. Great job.